organic farming let us see the biological control methods management of insect pests and diseases using various biological control agents like parasitoids predators nematodes protozoa viruses bacteria and fungi is called biological control these biopesticides represent around 2.89% of the overall pesticide market in india the general biopesticides used for pest management are protozoa actually the usage of protozoa is uh, very less in india but protozoa also one type of organisms which can be used to control insect pests some of the examples are nosema various species of the nosema is effective against grasshoppers like that nosema whitei is effective against tribolium and several species of nosema are effective against polyphagous pests helicorpa armigera and spodoptera litura even though protozoans are having efficacy to control insect pests their usage is very less in the biopesticide market fungal biopesticides which are widely used actually under different categories fungal biopesticides are very easy to produce and apply to seed soil and crop they are safe to the non target organisms some of the fungal antagonists <clears throat> like trichoderma viride several commercial formulations of trich trichoderma viride are registered with cibrc central insecticide board and registration committee in india with various counts wettable powders and other formulations are registered with various counts cfu colony forming unit counts so minimum being 1 into 10 power 6 is the minimum count for gram and above also registered trichoderma is considered as a wonderful wonder fungus for agriculture with its antifungal property means trichoderma is a fungus which controls other fungus it can be used for seed treatment soil treatment mixing with the fim a foliar spray and seed material treatment seedling treatment in so many ways this can be used it is having both phyto boosting and anti fungal properties the other species of trichoderma is trichoderma harzianum which is also registered with cibrc with various names and various formulations it is also the same way used for the control of soil borne and seed borne diseases Ampelomyces quisqualis. This is also a fungus. It is useful fungus that is hyper parasite of powdery mildews. Because there is no pesticide is permitted in the organic farming. Sulfur is one one permitted in organic farming to control powdery mildew. the other one is ampelomyces quisqualis it inhibits growth and eventually kills the powdery mildew even without powdery mildew under field conditions this ampelomyces quisqualis can live up to 3 weeks on plant and whenever powdery mildew appears on the plant it can control it entomopathogenic fungi which are very popular among them 
the mostly used ones bavaria bisiana verticillium lacani and metarhizium anisopleia apart from that isiria formosorosia isiria farinose metarhizium rilei are also gaining importance nowadays bavaria bisiana it is very wide spectrum <clears throat> entomopathogenic fungus why i am telling wide spectrum more than 700 insect species are reported to be natural hosts of bavaria bisiana earlier we have seen trichoderma viridae trichoderma horsianum and amphiplomyces quisqualis those are the fungus which controls the fungal diseases but here these are the entomopathogenic fungi means the fungus which controls the insects the fungus which acts again as the insects that's why these are called entomopathogenic fungi formulations with different concentrations are available and registered with the central insecticide board and registration committee because different concentrations of cfus generally the biopesticides the concentration is mentioned in cfu colony forming units the more the number like 1 into 10 power 9 is having more effective than 1 into 10 power 8 based on the concentration these are to be used as per the instructions because if it is all are single concentration single instruction will be there as the concentrations are different as per the pamphlets those are to be used it is mostly used again as sucking pest to manage white flies aphids true bugs mealy bugs thrips and mites it is also effective against larvae like helicorpa armigera spodoptera litura olepe ricini and other lepidopteran pests in vegetables pulses fruit trees and cotton in pulses and rice also it is used against hemipteran bugs rice head bug rice grain sucking bug and even to the control of hoppers mealy bugs and fod borers it is uh, highly recommended it also controls subterranean termites also you that's why i said it is broad spectrum one just like a broad spectrum pesticide bavaria bisiana is broad spectrum entomopathogenic fungus to control lepidopterans hemipterans termites and many other sucking pests metarhizia manisopleia this also registered with cibrc various formulations and concentrations and commercial names were registered it is pathogenic to many species of insects and successfully used to control rhinoceros beetle especially in coconut sugarcane leaf hoppers paddy plant hoppers paddy leaf hoppers recently it is recommended for fall armyworm also when fall armyworm is reported in india metarhizia manisopleia is recommended to control fall armyworm in maize verticillium lacani lacanicillium lacani but even though the name is changed to lacanicillium lacani it is popular as verticillium lacani only the earlier name various formulations were registered whether it is mentioned as verticillium lacani or lacanicillium lacani it is the same organism mostly it is used again as sucking pest small insects like cock seeds scale insects white flies thrips mites and aphids this fungus is also effective against several species of nematodes along with the entomopathogenic nematodes verticillium lacani and metarhizium anisopleia are also recommended to control nematodes verticillium lacani at a concentration of uh, 0.5 to 1% is effective against all sucking soft bodied insects in vegetables and other crops in polyhouse the soft bodied insects are mostly susceptible to the verticillium lacani metarhizium rilei now the name is changed to nomoria rilei 
it is also an entomopathogenic fungus of lepidoptera and more than 60 species of noctutes that include key pests of the crops are controlled with the metarhizium relay but the difficulty is the mass production of metarhizium relay is difficult and it takes more time it is highly effective against spodoptera species which is a very important polyphagous pest this metarhizium relay or nomoria relay is recommended in tobacco sunflower safflower cotton and vegetables the fungus is uh, diluted in water to 0.04 percent and mixed with twin 80 and sprayed on the crop during evening hours we must remember that all these entomopathogenic uh, organisms or biopesticides are to be sprayed only during evening hours then only they are very effective hirsutella species Many species of Hirsutella are available like Hirsutella thomsoni, Hirsutella gigantia, Hirsutella citriformis. This Hirsutella thomsoni is highly effective against the citrus rust mite. Very very important biological control agent of citrus rust mite. Philo Coptruta olivorus on grapefruit. So, Iceria species, Iceria farinosa and Iceria pharmacorosia were earlier known as Pesilomyces farinosus and Pesilomyces pharmacorosia. So, these are successfully used in the control of white flies and several insect pests. This Iceria pharmacorosia causes the disease known as yellow muscadine, an important natural biocontrol agent of white flies. Especially the white fly species Bimesia and Triallurids are susceptible to this Iceria. It is effective against red mites, spider mites, rust mites, and aphids. It is also effective against diamondback moth, Plutella xylostella. So, with this, we have seen entomopathogenic fungi. In the next session, let us see nematicidal fungi. That means the fungus which controls the nematodes. Thank you. Signing off, Srilata.